hello friends welcome back to the student blog and uh, in this Nutanix uh, series of training session we will be discussing and uh, looking at the prism dashboard uh, so let's go to our uh, prism dashboard so we logged in with our uh, ID account and uh, we are using hypervisor uh, AHV uh, Nutanix AHV and uh, this is a community edition so uh, like uh, uh, this is the home screen and where we have four columns here this one this one this one you are able to see four columns and uh, each column will uh, specify uh, to a particular thing so first column is to provide the hypervisor summary and uh, prism central uh, version and uh, uh, like though we didn't configure prism central so if you click here it will provide an option to create a new instance for prism central or if you already have a prism central instance you can connect to it for using uh, the second option so we will deploy the prism instance uh, in our upcoming videos for now we will discuss on uh, the things uh, what are there so this is the sto storage summary where we can see two options one is physical and one is logical so physical is uh, what the available storage and logical is one logically available so uh, we most of the time we should look at the logical storage availability uh, when you dip, when you provisioning uh, uh, the space or when you provisioning the vol uh, volumes or containers so the coming to the vm summary like you are able to see only one vm so if it is a production you have tons of vms uh, we'll, where we can see the status like power on power off suspend pass status you can you can able to see the list of uh, the uh, number of servers here and uh, coming to the hardware summary you are able to see host and blog <coughs> host and block uh, so here like uh, this is a, uh, here where uh, uh, here we are able to see community edition but in production we will be able to see the actual uh, server model server model which we are using so we will discuss about uh, what is host what is blog and what is uh, the server models we use so <coughs> let me take you guys to this slide uh, so uh, let's uh, see what is this exactly so uh, looking here like uh, this is nx 3460s g6 model so now uh, looking at this uh, if uh, nothing is mentioned it is difficult to identify what model and how many processors how many uh, nodes exist in this server and what is the processor processor generation and what is the make okay so the first block says what more what company like what hardware vendor is this so uh, you are able to see nx that means uh, nutanix but uh, nutanix doesn't manufacture any hardware so they are using uh, super micro hardware so for now negative hardware is super micro for nutanix and uh, uh, and second block is uh, for product series uh, so if you see see here like uh, these are the seri available series 1000 3000 5000 8000 and maybe we have uh, another latest models available in the market uh, so and the fourth block is for number of nodes in the chassis uh, so if you see like quantity one two three or four it's like that and uh, the fourth block is for uh, chassis form factor like uh, uh, if you see here it indicates uh, six is equal to four and tu size tu tu uh, sorry two uh, two u is a uh, chassis size and uh, uh, the fifth block is for disk form factor like uh, if you see here 0 is equal to 2 point it's 0 means 2.5 inch and uh, 5 means 3.5 with this model it's a uh, 2.5 inch disk so this is the variant uh, like uh, like if you see here c for capacity s for single <laughs> cpu and g for gpu and this is for cpu generation like g6 g6 means like uh, six uh, generation uh, sky lake so that is the model of uh, 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 generation uh, model so uh, looking at this i believe you 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 would have a got an idea of uh, looking at the model you can identify how many uh, what model is this uh, what uh, what uh, hardware is this so definitely i believe this is helpful so apart from that i just pull some information about the available 
Nutanix hardware platforms here if you see here uh, 8035G8 is of, of 2TB uh, 2 uh, max memory with 32 cores of CPU and uh, almost 87TB it's a monster okay if you go here it's it's more like double the size of this one so uh, like 8155G7 is also same same each of uh, 2 200 TB so these are the models uh, of uh, compatible uh, Nutanix hardware and uh, if you go to third party uh, you have a couple of uh, vendors available like a uh, vendors and their uh, server hardware Cisco, Itachi, HP like you can see all uh, tons of uh, hardwares and uh, once you click on the availability uh, hardware compatibility list it will obviously take you to the right URL to see the list of servers so Cisco this is all the servers compatible with the Nutanix platform uh, Nutanix uh, uh, hypervisor so you can go through this and you can purchase the required hardware okay so uh, this is about the particular uh, uh, hardware summary and uh, uh, hardware model so uh, this is not production so obviously it is not listing here or else you, you would able to see this so uh, the second column is for uh, is for performance if you see cluster wide uh, controller IO it's uh, zero because uh, it's a test environment obviously uh, no no nothing uh, like I was happening and this is for bandwidth cluster wide controller bandwidth this is also 0 kbps and uh, this is for latency uh, it is 0 milliseconds uh, there is a uh, uh, calculation for this if uh, the latency cluster wide controller laten latency is uh, below 10 below 10 milliseconds then it, it, it is considered as uh, excellent and uh, if it is uh, below 20 then it is somehow okay and if it is more than 30 then definitely end users will see like uh, performance uh, uh, low performance in the applications uh, connectivity issues all stuff at that time you must um, uh, has to fix the latency issue and you, you should get it down by below 10 or be, uh, for a best performance so uh, this is for the cluster total CPU usage and uh, cluster memory usage you are able to see 32.18% out of 54 GB and uh, here 11% uh, so this is for performance and uh, this is for health so uh, if you see here it is showing as critical <coughs> sorry so uh, uh, if it is showing as critical it doesn't mean that something is broken or something uh, vari um, variable so you don't need to worry about it so it could be because of the VM performance or uh, host performance anything which is uh, red it obviously it will show as uh, critical there so no need to worry about it so my host uh, is showing red that is the reason uh, that is uh, uh, showing as critical once it is fixed then it will be showing as uh, uh, warning because uh, cluster service is also having some issue so uh, so so nothing need to be worry about but is this data uh, resiliency status should be always okay uh, and fault domain is block and uh, uh, fault tolerance should be one and if it is showing critical then you must has to f fix it or you have to submit a case with Nutanix and uh, take help of them and uh, you have to fix it it should not be uh, critical in production uh, versus a lab so that's fine <coughs> we don't have any issues okay and even going forward we'll fix it so uh, critical alerts and uh, warnings uh, like uh, though this is a new environment we don't see anything but uh, if you see here uh, warnings uh, we are able to see two warnings and events 48 if you click it obviously it will show what is that uh, alerts and uh, you are able to see that CVM time sync is not happening 
so we can look at it and we can fix it so <coughs> okay so these are the four columns and uh, talking about uh, so a couple of people may have doubt uh, what is this host and what is this block okay so block is nothing but uh, the chassis that contains the servers disks and uh, power supplies and uh, cooling fans and actually there is no RAID controllers or uh, internode connecting back, uh, back panels available in the uh, block so it's like uh, each block may have uh, uh, one to four nodes uh, so and they uh, and uh, if you're talking about uh, uh, and uh, even for each chassis uh, they have the two power supplies per chassis so that one power for supply fails obviously the redundant second one will uh, take care of it uh, till it got replaced so uh, if you see that host uh, host is nothing but node so it is the collective name for single server and uh, it comes with disks and uh, uh, it comes with the disk and it is also referred as a node so node will be populated with one or two CPUs varying mem uh, like de depends on the memory and network adopters so uh, like uh, how they will know how nodes will uh, communicate means like uh, nodes are uh, independently connected uh, uh, to a top of rack uh, switch uh, as there are no uh, back panels within the chassis so generally the uh, recommended network uh, network capacity is uh, be below 10 uh, minimum is 10 gbps to 25 gig so and uh, for small uh, small offices remote branch offices yeah 1 gb works fine uh, so this is about uh, uh, the home page and uh, if you go to health uh, this screen we already saw in saw this before so uh, if you see here like uh, you have vms uh, host disk pools everything like same thing will be listed here uh, so vms okay so storage pools all like come um, come in storage so if you click on summary it will give the uh, checklist status uh, like failed how many failed how many uh, like warning all stuff so and uh, you can run checklist uh, go to the action and uh, you can set the ncc frequency and run checklist ncc checks uh, so when you run it if anything got fixed then obviously this alert got gets cleared so uh, if you go to the vms it will list the number of vms uh, vms existing on the uh, on the on the hypervisor and you have an option if you uncheck it obviously the uh, vm uh, cvm controller vm will go uh, disappear so uh, from here you can deploy a vm you can configure your network uh, like we can do a lot of stuff so uh, if you want to modify the vm like uh, though it is it, we cannot modify a cvm uh, so if you want to see it just click on launching the console and you can see what is happening on the console and you can turn off from here too but it won't allow you here so for any other vms uh, like we can go and create a vm instantly let's try to create a vm uh, test description windows 2016 time zone is utc that's fine uh, cpu value 1 cpu one core and memory is uh, 4 GB so actually we need to create uh, VLANs all stuff is nothing is done so yeah we will we'll look at it in the next next upcoming videos uh, how to create a VM before that uh, network all stuff we will create and we will proceed with it so for now like uh, if VM exists if you right click it you will have an option to modify update when you click on update uh, you can add add memory or hard uh, uh, CPU hard hard disk everything options adding NIC uh, will pop up 
so we'll see it in upcoming videos uh, so regarding that storage network yeah we'll discuss in our next videos uh, I believe <coughs> for now uh, I believe it's informative and uh, thanks for watching uh, please do subscribe my channel and uh, like my videos any suggestions or queries please reach out to me on uh, e student blog at the rate gmail.com thank you bye bye